welcome back to my channel and to my photo setup. Today I'm going to show you how I built a foot pedal shutter remote for my GH5 camera. See, I do a lot of tabletop photography like this and I usually need to show off some kind of small electronics or craft project where both of my hands need to be in frame. And to do that and focus and then do the self timer, it, it takes a lot of time. So I just looked up the circuit design for the commercially available shutter remote with a button on it. I made a shutter remote for my GH4 out of a commercially available shutter remote and I just added wires to it, but it was expensive and then I added on to it, it was kind of bulky. So this is a more streamlined approach that just has the inline resistors between the proper 2.5 millimeter four pole like micro audio jack that's here and this uh, any foot pedal switch you find online should work just fine. Let's get started. I cut my four pole 2.5 millimeter plug from an adapter I ordered online and proceeded to remove a few inches of the outer sheathing with wire strippers. I bundled up the loose copper sheathing wires and stripped a small amount of sheathing off of each interior wire. Then I used my multimeter set to continuity testing mode, you know, where it beeps when there's electrical contact between the probes, to figure out which wires are connected to the shaft and the first ring. Then I cut off the other wires since they won't be used. In my case, the relevant wires are the sheathing and the black wire. So I tinned them with solder and added solid core wires to make it easy to plug into a breadboard. That's where I tested out resistor combos to add up to the values from the diagram, which is how the math works out when you put them in series. Turns out there's some margin in the value, so it doesn't have to be exact. Use what you have. Here in this Tinkercad circuit simulation, you can see what I mean a bit more clearly. The circuit on the left is the ideal configuration, and these others are the ones I tested with the camera and physical breadboard. The basic idea is that the shutter pin is held high at about 40 kilo ohms, and the switch drops the resistance across the poles to about 2.2 kilo ohms. You can add an intermediary button for the half press focus functionality, which I skipped because it's not needed for my application. Once I had settled on a combo of resistors in prototype form, I set about creating the cable. Some care and attention to detail is necessary here, as well as a good set of helping hands to line everything up so as to create the smoothest, strongest transition possible. Don't forget to add heat shrink tubing whenever possible. I should have written down my switch findings immediately after using the multimeter, but I didn't, and it made me mix up which switch wires to use, so that's why there's a change of appearance here. After I fixed that error and tested it again, I could heat up the final piece of shrink tubing. What I love about this project is that it will improve the quality of the time I spend behind the camera, but itself was also a pleasure and relative breeze to make. Great effort to satisfaction ratio on this one. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you learned something. You know, you don't have to put a foot pedal on this thing. You could also use just this camera activation portion to incorporate into your microcontroller project. Maybe do some high speed photography, some like motion activated photography. Anyway, I'd love to hear how you're gonna use it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new around here, take a look around. Consider subscribing. I put out new videos just about every week about crafts, technology, and my life here in New York City. See you next time.